Hi and welcome back here at Augmented World Expo. I'm here at the Snapdragon booth and now it is time to finally try out Demio in AR, in augmented reality, right? Perfect. Could you tell me a bit, um, hello, Jesper, right? Yes, Jesper. Jesper from Resolution Games? Yes. Perfect. Um, could you tell me about um, the game? I mean, I know it, but uh, the, the, the people are watching this. And also, what kind of headset we're playing this on right now? Yes, so Demio is a very originally a VR game. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's from the Quest and, and uh, P, uh, PC VR and all those platforms. Yeah. Yeah. And right now we're uh, showing off a, a version of an AR version of Demio uh, built with uh, Snapdragon Spaces. Okay, cool. So this is on the Lenovo Think Reality 8, I believe. Um, okay. So these are tethered to a, a Motorola phone. Right. So the Motorola phone is doing all the heavy processing, it's, it's doing all the calculations and everything. Yes. And uh, the glasses are mostly as the viewer. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. Really cool. excited about bringing this to AR because I mean Vimeo is a board game. So yes, exactly. It should be played on a table. Uh, you're, so, you're totally yeah, right. You're totally really right. So um, this is going to be. I'm looking forward to try it out. And my other question that I have for you, since this is perfect for tabletop, why aren't you working together with Tilt Five? <laughs> I can't really comment yeah, on who we're working with or, or any stuff like that. Okay, uh, okay. I know you cannot comment. I'm yes. sorry. I just wanted to try out <laughs> because you really should do that. They are a great company and they would love yeah. this for sure. Yeah, yeah but of the, course, I'm also looking forward to try it now here on like the on this um, I mean, Lenovo device. Yeah, this. Okay, this is uh, on the Snapdragon Spaces, right? This is the new the new platform from the new platform from um, from Snap from Qualcomm to allow more um, yeah an AR um, content to be made, right? By, by by everyone like you guys from Resolution Games, but also from anyone actually, right? Yeah, it's really easy to get started with, and it works for more platforms. It's not just these. Uh, okay. Okay, great. Okay, cool. So I'm going to try it now, and I would. Uh, yes. I would ask you to uh, kindly point this at me. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, thanks for coming out. So, what do I need to do? Yeah, so if you look at the table here, you should see a yellow rectangle. I haven't yes, tried the PC yes. version. Yes. This is the placement yeah, indicator, like so this is where you place the game. Like so you can uh, move around a little bit and try to place it so it's roughly the same size as the table. Then press select on the phone to uh, yeah. I've been place able the game. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I see Demio. I see okay. I see the Demio board. Right. It's cool. Is most of the companies like very cool to see it here? Yeah, in AR. So you don't have Actually. like folks that are kind of. I'm, I'm so used to see the game like in VR, yeah, obviously, right? So so now to be able to see it like floating here, it's like um, the size. It's, it feels, it feels a bit too small right now, right? Compared to VR, like uh, the lady here, she's like, yeah, she's too small. Mm. Right, this, but it's. Uh, I know that this is only like a, a demo. You guys simply ported it to uh, to AR just to give it a try. But yeah, so no, I like doing hybrid. I do that as well. It's just like nice to work with yep. people. But also, it stays in space. Also, like to sometimes just. Okay, cool. So, so you um, should be able to see like a yellow beam coming from your head, right? From my hand. Yeah, from your hand. Uh, right from the headset. So I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have your own? Um, oh, yeah, so that's, that's how you control the game. So you you look at the like, board pieces like, and hold the select you know, button the to move them around. And you know, like recasting, like all of those okay. common interactions that you have across the titles. The yellow, do you have like a common like unity the frame laser beam is uh, not very easy um, to see. Or is it kind of? <laughs> to be honest, I'm sorry to tell you. It depends on how large the the game is. Ah, the game is a bit small, probably. Okay, so we could restart and try to place it at a larger. Okay, but but how would I enlarge? Right now, you need to restart the game. Okay. Uh, this is just a tech demo, so it's not supposed yeah, to yeah, be I, I totally a yeah, final. It's uh, just like, actually to show off that it's like possible. Yeah, possible. but it's okay. We can keep. Uh, but yeah, it if, if, the, if the board is small, it's really hard to to right. aim and exactly. everything. Yeah. 
MR2K, MR2K, some of these like common libraries for like, Yeah, but it's, it's still it's still great to see Demio in augmented reality. Yeah, like we're really excited about this because it's, uh, you know, sitting a group of friends around after yeah, exactly. like physically in the same space and playing around yeah, the same table. This is going be, to happen for sure. Yeah, it's, it's going to sure. be really exciting. So uh, we're really looking forward to, to bringing Demio into, into this space. Cool. Yeah, yeah Demio is just Demio amazing. Is kind of right on your what, what is your role in, uh, in Demio? I'm, uh, I'm one of the programmers on this project. Ah, uh, on this project. Uh, yes, uh, the yeah, you're, you're based uh, in uh, Sweden? Yes, in Stockholm, yes. In Stockholm, great. Wow. Yeah, cool, cool. And how long did it take you to port this version? Uh, it was actually quite fast. Uh, we got access to the dev kit, I think it was three weeks ago. So, uh, uh, okay, for really three fast. weeks? Yes. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, so, Wow, and I think the, the biggest cost is probably like the input, uh, trying to convert the input yeah, right. and make it work. Exactly. Uh, but uh, other than that, you know, removing the background and everything, it's. Uh, so uh, you, you could simply um, use the code that was there, and um, um, then what, what did you do in order to port it to AR? Like, I mean, everything is built with Unity already. Exactly. Uh, so uh, it's not Dragon Space; it's already built with Unity, and, and everything has support. So. It wasn't too much work trying to port it over okay. once we had everything, uh, the dev kits. Okay, cool. So, yeah, for, for anyone who's interested in um, porting any, anything over to AR, with Snapdragon Spaces, it should be really simple. Yeah, and like it was AR Foundation and Unity as well. Uh, okay. it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's a good foundation to, uh, to really build upon. Yeah. So this is definitely a good tech demo. <laughs> definitely cool that you did this in three weeks and uh, now I need to have this on tilt five <laughs> please cool cool very cool yeah thanks so much for showing it to me yeah. thank yeah. you thank you so much yeah Demio all of you need to play this game in uh, in virtual reality right now I think it's it's one of the my favorite games for the quest and uh, oh, yeah, simply go and download it now if you haven't done so yet. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Go. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. So that's that was Demio and Snapdragon Spaces, the new augmented reality um, platform from Qualcomm that they are showing off here. Very cool. And uh, yeah, everyone can start now to actually develop. Um, AR with um, Snapdragon Spaces, the big new thing that they're showing off here. And uh, actually, um, all you need to really try it is that Android phone and that um, the headset, the, the AR headset that I was just wearing from Lenovo. And then you can try, you can start to program for Snapdragon Spaces for this new platform. All right, that is. That is everything that I got here from Snapdragon Booth Augmented World Expo 2022. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.